I think you'd actually be great on Vanderpump Rules because you are the ultimate sleuth, the ultimate detective, and you could definitely have gotten to the bottom of Scandaval. What are your thoughts on Scandaval? It's wild. Okay, so I'm a big Lala Kent fan, and I don't actually watch Vanderpump Rules. I don't need to. It plays out in the media, and I watch along like with, with Lala's post on Instagram, and um, I, I'm a big fan of the show in general, and because, you know why? Because it's it's so authentic and organic, and I love that about it. I hate Tom Sandoval for what he did. He's from St. Louis, where I live. Did you know that? Are you embarrassed? Obviously, it's not the best representation. So, yeah, I don't love it. But I'm here to bring, like, I don't know, wholesomeness yeah. <laughs> back <laughs> to St. Louis. <laughs> You're, you're the, the wholesome side of St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> now, someone, uh, as someone who has survived a, a cheating scandal in the public eye, what is your message for Ariana? That's literally what what I would, you know, would say to her. Like, I know what it's like to be in a cheating scandal in the public eye, and it sucks. I don't have any advice except that it's going to end some point. What are some red flags people can look out for when it comes to cheating now that you've had time to process your experience? I look for a narcissist, look for love, love bombing, which is like over the top, like love and like inclusiveness. That's not normal. So I would say that's a big red flag. 